Hey guys, it's Angie and Lilia here and we're back to do Lilia's 22 week life update. So Lilia is 22 weeks old and she is weighing 9.6 kilograms. Her head circumference is still 43 centimeters and her length is still 66. So she hasn't grown like head circumference wise and length rise, but she has definitely put on the weight this week. And I just cannot believe how much she is weighing. Like she is 9.6 kilograms. When she was born back in June, she was only weighing 3.5. So she has definitely tripled her body weight, which is just bonkers to think about. Now, this week with Lilia, she has had a couple of changes and the changes haven't been for the better, I would say. Um, and basically those changes have been her nighttime sleeps. Now her nighttime sleeps have just gone out the window and I do believe it's got a combination of her starting kindy and not sleeping very well through the day there. Me being away from her for that little time, um, you know, last two weeks ago and teething. Now I believe these three things combined and put together has just blown Lilia's routine out the window and she is now waking basically every hour from 11.30 until we co-sleep at I think it's around 2, 2.30 that we start co-sleeping because um, otherwise she's just waking every hour after that and all she wants is basically to hold my skin, touch me and basically just nuzzle into my chest and suck my nipple and that's pretty much how we get through until the morning until I get some a little bit of decent sleep. Now I am going to try and get her back into her cot sleeping a little bit better but at the moment I've tried a lot of different things and I'm still trying to figure out what's going to work for Lilia this time around. Um, now another thing that I you know I believe it's going to be a big culprit in this you know sleep factor is that her teeth now her teeth are definitely on the move and I can definitely feel something coming I don't know if it's going to be you know coming anytime soon or if it's just moving around that's basically upsetting her and making her grizzle out there a bit um, but yeah they are definitely on the move and on Friday night just gone I basically had to take her out of the bedroom at night time which I've basically only done once before then and try and settle her down because she was crying so loud and so distressed that nothing I did in the bedroom was calming her down. Now once she calmed down I actually gave her some teething gel and some baby Panadol and she was then out like a light so I do believe that you know that night she was just so upset because of her teeth moving and things like that come Sunday we had a terrible terrible day through the daytime she would not let me put her down she would not let me sit down I had to basically pace the whole house by I think three o'clock in the afternoon I gave in gave her some Panadol and then she was finally asleep and we were able to sit down for at least half an hour to 45 minutes grandma then came over and that made her 10 times better because it made her forget about her teeth and everything like that so that was an awesome, you know, distraction for her. Um, now, another thing that Lilia is able to do this week is she is now able to basically roll off the mat. So she is definitely now on the move and we definitely need to get our baby gates fixed and get the extended sport for them so we can, you know, fix up the baby gate to the kitchen and we've got internal stairs. So we definitely need to put a baby gate on that because we don't want and get them put up ASAP. Um, now, another thing with Lilia's life this week is that she's going to get a baby cousin today. So my sister's actually booked in for her C-section and she is going to have her little baby girl today and I believe her name's going to be Annabelle and Lilia and her are going to be five months apart so I cannot wait for Lilia to meet her cousin um, and I'm sure Lilia's going to look like a big monster beside her because she is just so big and chubby and I'm pretty sure Annabelle's going to be super tiny because obviously she's just going to be born so I can't wait to see her and meet her but other than that I think that may be all for this week's vlog and I will talk to you guys next week okay bye guys oh and by the way if you're wondering what Lily is looking at she's actually looking at our pet buster so our pet cat's just down there laying near my feet and that's what she's looking at I'm pretty sure she's waiting for me to put her down so she can pat him or grab his hair, one of the two. Um, but that's the reason why she's like looking down so much at the moment. It's because yeah, she's looking at her best friend, Buster. Okay then, bye guys. Lilia, Lilia, you gonna say bye? Say.